is all I'm bringing on a 12 day trip. Call me crazy, but that's what you gotta do. My first flight is to Fiji, that's three hours, 40 minutes. And then from there, it's 10 hours and 15 minutes to LA. So yeah, really excited. Just snacking because um, boarding is delayed by about half an hour. But I'm flying with Fiji Airways, my first time flying with them. And I heard that the planes are really, really new. For you i'm finally at my hostel in santa monica and the location is amazing i'm really happy with it but i got two buses from lax airport up to santa monica and i strongly recommend not doing that the first bus was a shuttle bus which brought me to lax uh, av aviatory station or something and yeah that first bus was fine but once i got to that station it was really deserted a lot of homeless and just people who were off their face of drugs it was very very dodgy and when i got onto the second bus i purchased um metro card instead of a bus card so the bus driver was like yep yeah, you're not allowed on blah 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 and he didn't really give me any advice on what to do next i offered to pay with apple pay he was like we don't accept that so then this guy paid for my ticket, which was really nice, but he had like face tattoos and literally no shade. I love tattoos, but I just, I was getting really scared because he came up to me halfway through the journey with blood all over his hands. And he was like, hey, do you have a bandage or anything? And I was like, oh fuck. Like I owe this guy a favor and now he's gonna get off the same stop as me. He's gonna stalk me to my hostel. It was really, really scary, but I made it in one piece and this is by far the nicest part of LA that I've seen so far but excited to explore and excited for my best friend to join me in the next few hours she's flying from Dublin and I haven't seen her in about 10 months but I'll show you the room tour so this is it so you walk in a really nice picture of um, what I'm guessing is Santa Monica Beach and yeah we have a double bed a nice view I don't know what that building is that's that and the beach is literally just behind this building and then a mirror which is great and then the toilets are for everyone and they're just down the hall first thing I did once I got to Santa Monica was explore the pier and there were a lot of live performers and then I just did some shopping up until Imelda got here this was one of the few common areas at our hostel in Santa Monica. It was a little bit pricier for hostels, but I couldn't recommend it more for the area that was in. We had some free breakfast and then we explored. part two the sun has finally come out made it to venice beach so that's santa monica this way and venice this way so can't wait to see what's gonna happen here we heard all this music and then saw this <laughs> And then one of the places on my bucket list for Venice Beach was obviously the skate park. So we watched these guys for a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> that dog just peed on <laughs> <laughs> Just 
chilling out here now. We're probably gonna go out for some dinner and drinks later today. The Dixie. It's not as dodgy as we thought. Being a motel in East Hollywood, but it was actually grand. We did a two hour bus tour, which would show us famous people's homes in LA, Rodeo Drive, Beverly Hills, and I'd highly recommend doing this. <laughs> There are so many similar tours out there, so it's worth checking Groupon for cheap tickets. This is the house where Michael Jackson died. The Hollywood tour was one of the highlights for us, it was amazing, and then we just went to this coffee place for a pick-me-up. I actually didn't even know this place existed until we did the tour, and I can't remember why famous people would put their handprints and footprints here. It was some sort of tradition, but yeah, that went over my head. <laughs> We ended the night at a comedy show at the Comedy Store, so if you're in LA, make sure to check out a comedy show. I was dying laughing with some of the acts, so yeah, well worth it. Day three, we had an early start, so we grabbed brunch at Black Canvas Coffee. Another day, we're at Universal. So we just did the Simpsons ride and that was a motion simulator one and it was really good but now we're going to do the Heffalop one. What's your name, dude? Aaron? Nice to meet you, Aaron. Well, let's get you a picture, brother. My favorite ride here at Universal is the studio tour. It's about 45 minutes and they show you some real life cars that are used in different movies, some real sets. <laughs> If you've ever watched us for Housewives, I'm sure you recognize this street. So yeah, so nostalgic seeing all these spots. Spent about 10 hours in the park and made it on every single adult ride minus the Minion one. So I think we did pretty good. about two hours in the queue for the Mario Kart ride because it kept breaking down and honestly I was really disappointed with the ride but the world itself was so cool. Caught the light show at the Harry Potter castle just by chance last minute and it was so beautiful. If one only remembers to turn on the light.
birthday for was super special for me. I met my family for the first time in about 10 months and we went to Denny's for pancakes, like true Americans. <laughs> Another day in Beverly with um, the famous one herself. <laughs> and we're at this cafe. This cafe is called Alfred's and apparently it's a hot spot for loads of celebs. And I have my advice. Walking down Rodeo Drive. <laughs> Lots of surprises. Safe to say we didn't even try to get into one of these shops, but we didn't even spot any celebs either. We saw some interesting characters though. Last thing we did in LA was head up to Griffith Observatory for sunset and the views there are incredible. I just wish we had more time to see some of the exhibitions they have there. Views of LA. Is it good? But Sean. <laughs> I've been up for the last couple of hours just editing this video and I never film an outro so this is my outro here. There'll be another part of this America trip coming up in the next week. So really sorry that this is up quite late. I just wanted to be in the moment with my friend and with my family but more content to come real soon. So thanks for watching.